This little word seems so harmless and so innocent, but it's not. Bonjour, bonjour! I'm Kashi and this is Let Us Learn French, where we make French a little bit easier and a lot less confusing. Today, we talk about the word en and how it's used. Actually, it can be used for a lot of different things and you have probably seen that word in a number of different contexts and you were probably wondering, what do you even mean? Like, what are you used for? You're used for everything. En is used for a number of different things in French and the first one is to replace a quantity or a number. In this case, you would usually find du, de, de la, des or de l apostrophe in the sentence. For example, j'ai acheté trois livres, j'en ai acheté trois. I bought three books, I bought three of them. Here, en means of them or of it. An example where en means of it is I drank a liter of water, I drank a liter of it. J'ai bu un litre d'eau, j'en ai bu un litre. In the same way, en can be used to replace a place. For example, je reviens de Londres. J'en reviens. I'm coming back from London. I'm coming back from there. Here it means from there. When we talked about quantity and numbers, it's also used for uncountable nouns. For example, you can say water or rice or milk. We can't really count that, right? But we still use en for of it. For example, je veux un peu de lait. I want some milk. J'en veux un peu. I want some of it. A different use of en is when it replaces something which is introduced by a verb followed by de, du, de la, des, de l apostrophe. I'll give you an example. Je parle de mes vacances. I am talking about my holidays. Here, the verb parler, to talk about, introduces les vacances, the holidays. And the verb is followed by de. So a verb followed by de and then introducing something else. So, je parle de something. I'm talking about something. So, here we can replace that something with en. Je parle de mes vacances. J'en parle. I'm talking about my holidays. I'm talking of them or about them. Or, je rêve d'aller à Paris. I dream of going to Paris. So, here we have rêve, which is the verb to dream. De apostrophe, which means de, but de plus a vowel becomes de apostrophe, d'aller. So I'm dreaming of or about something. And that something can become the en. Here, that something is going to Paris. This whole thing, aller à Paris, is what can be changed to en. Je rêve d'aller à Paris. J'en rêve. So here you can think of it as this. Je parle de quoi? Je rêve de quoi? I'm talking of what or about what? Or I'm dreaming of what or about what? So ask the question, de quoi? And the answer to that question, de quoi? Of what or about what? Would be what would be replaced by en. Again, I'm talking about what? My holidays, so my holidays become en. I'm dreaming of what? Going to Paris, so going to Paris, this whole thing becomes en. J'en parle, j'en rêve. Another use of the word en is as a preposition. Une préposition. For example, elle vit en Angleterre. She lives in England. En is used instead of in here. But that's not always the case. For example, if instead I want to say she lives in Canada, then you would say elle vit au Canada. So for countries, it's not always the case. Sometimes we use en, sometimes we use au. Usually for countries, if the country is considered feminine country, we use en. If it's a masculine country, we use au. For example, we say le Canada, je vis au Canada. But we say la France, je vis en France. En can also be used as by. 
For example, as modes of transport, I'm going there by car, j'y vais en voiture. Here again, a lot, but not all transportation would use en. So a couple of them that do are en voiture, en avion, en bateau, en train, en autobus, en camion, en hélicoptère. But other things like on horse would be a cheval, on foot, a pied, or you could say a vélo. A last example for that category would be c'est arrivé en 2009. It happened in 2009. Here again, en is used as in. A completely different way to use en would be to form a gerund. So en plus the present participle equals the gerund. For example, to dance is danser. Dancing or while dancing is en dansant. Elle fait le ménage en dansant. She's cleaning while dancing. Then there are some expressions that just use the term en. Two of those are en avoir marre, to be fed up with, and s'en prendre à quelqu'un, to, to pick on someone or to hurt someone. What was your favorite use of the word en? Let me know in the comments below. En is a pretty complex word, even though it doesn't seem like it. And there's probably more ways that you could even use en. But in this video, we looked at some of them, some common ones that you would probably come across and that you can use. And if you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video from us. Follow us on Instagram at Let Us Learn French Official where we give you a new French word of the day every single day. And share this video with your family and friends who also want to learn French. As a thank you for sharing, here are two other videos for you. Enjoy! Thank you so much for watching until the end. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next Sunday. Take care.